welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my favorite inexpensive brushes because I feel like brushes make such a world of a difference when you're putting on eyeshadow, when you're blending out eyeshadow. And so I thought I wanted to make this video as helpful as I can for you guys so that way when you're going to the store and you see just like a row of brushes, you kind of have an idea of what you should get or even some of these brands I'm going to be mentioning, you can find in store or online. I, all the brushes that I talk about, I will have them linked in the bottom bar below. So definitely go ahead and check that out. If you guys like this kind of video, please give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you guys want to know what are my favorite brushes, then go ahead and keep watching. I am going to be inserting close-ups of all the brushes that I am talking about, just so that way you guys can get a closer look at them. Also, the price will be down here somewhere as well. The first brush I want to talk about is this a guy right here from Wet n Wild. I absolutely love this brush. It's quickly become a favorite of mine. I've been using it for a while now. This is just like a flat shader brush. This is great if you're just laying shadow right here down on your lid. It is so like tightly packed with the bristles that when you pick up the color, it picks up every single speck of color. And this is a really great brush. For some reason, it just fits perfectly onto the lid. I have one more Wet n Wild brush I want to talk to you guys about as well. This is like a fluffy blending brush. Their brushes, I, don't, I think these are new. These are amazing brushes. I'm using this brush just to like blend out the edges of my eyeshadow and then sometimes even to put down like my base transition color. Um, this is an amazing brush and again, I think less than $3. It's a really great value and really great quality too. Now my next favorite brush is this Morphe M433 brush. I love this brush and the reason why i love it so much is because i love the mac um 217 brush but this brush is like over 20 dollars or something crazy like that super expensive for one brush so when i picked up this morphe m433 brush i was like yes this is what I've been looking for, a dupe for that MAC 217. I absolutely love it. When I want to do like this darker brown that I have going on in my crease here, I would just pick up a little bit of this color and just really blend in the crease. It makes your crease super defined, but it blends out your eyeshadow super easily and it just fits perfectly right in your crease just to lay down that color and then to really blend it out this is an amazing okay so my next favorite brush is by crown brushes and the, and this is c512 because at the top of this brush it is a little bit more pointier so i like this because if i pick up like a brown or a black this helps me to put on the eyeshadow so much more precise that I just put it right here in my outer corner, I lay down the color, and then I blend it out. This brush is amazing because it doesn't pick up too much product, it literally just picks up the right amount of product that you need just to deepen up your crease a little bit and it fits right into your um, crease area. I feel like the majority of the brushes that I'm talking about today are blending brushes, but because blending brushes are so important and they are essential to a key eye look. Okay, so the next two brushes that I'm going to talk about, they're, the, they're kind of similar, but they're also kind of different. And the reason why I want to mention both is because brushes also depend on how much lid space you have on your eye. If you're using a super big blending brush, something fatter uh, with lots of bristles, that is really gonna drag the eyeshadow up higher than you probably would like. So depending on your lid space, pay attention to the kind of brushes that you shop for. For example, these two, one of this one is by Morphe, this one is by Crown Brushes. Now the difference between these two brushes at the, is that the Morphe one is not as tightly compact as the Crown one. So this Morphe one is perfect to, just to really go over my color, blend everything out, any harsh lines, I can like it to put on my transition shade. This one is perfect if you have more of a smaller lid space because if you were to use this one on like a smaller lid, it's going to drag up the color way too high. But this one is a little bit more smaller and rounded and this one would fit your eye perfectly. Plus, you can really lay down like a dark brown color, let's say, and then you clean it off. Use the edges to really buff out and blend the edges of that dark brown color for example. The next brush I want to talk to you guys about is the Morphe M218. I love this brush because it's just so fluffy and big and it's perfect at blending. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm going to have a, I, this is a lot of blending brushes because I feel like blending is key. Even though they're all for blending, they all do different things 
and they all work differently. I really like because it's a lot bigger than like a regular blending brush. So this one I will use like, let's say I finished all my makeup and I'm like, you know what? This is looking a little bit harsh. I'll take this and literally just run it over the edges of my eyeshadow and just blend it out. Another way that I use this brush is like after I prime my eyes, I always like to set my eye primer with like an eyeshadow and this one is perfect. This is probably what I use this brush the most for. I'll just take like a, um, like a skin tone eyeshadow with this brush and pack it right on top blend it out and it's perfect. So this brush may seem like meaningless, but it does a lot because these other brushes might be a little bit too firm or too stiff or too rounded to really um, set your whole eye area. So this is why I love this particular brush. First I wanna talk about is the Morphe M432 brush. I love this brush, especially if you are wanting to place eyeshadow right down under your lower lash line. This gives you such a perfect straight line but also it's really good at blending it out. So once that color is placed, I would just clean it off, use the edges of it to really smoke it out and it gets the job done super easily. So this is a really great brush, especially if you are one to put eyeshadow down here a lot, but you don't want it to look too messy or, or if you don't want it to get dragged down too far. This one is a really good brush for that. The next brush I wanna talk about is a little detailing brush. I absolutely love this brush. Um, this is the Morphe E36 brush, like you can barely see it, it's tiny, there it is right there. If you are, also I forgot to mention that if you love doing cut creases or you want to try to do a cut crease, this brush is a necessity, the M432 one, it's amazing to really like cut that crease, perfect for that. Now to blend out that cut crease, I love this brush, this is the Morphe E36 brush, this is amazing. It's tightly compacted right here at the bottom, but then right at the top of the bristles, it's nice and almost loose, super flexible. I love this for a ton of different reasons. If I'm doing a cut crease, I like to really blend out the cut crease and I will use this brush for that. Another reason why I like this brush is to highlight my brow bone. So if I'm really getting in there right underneath my arch of my brow bone, this is perfect because it's tiny enough and it fits right there, but then it also blends out that brow bone highlight as well. Another reason why I love this brush is to highlight my inner corner. I would just pick up a little bit of the eyeshadow or whatever I'm using to highlight my inner corner and it fits perfectly right there. Okay, so the last three are these three blending brushes. Um, I know that they might look the same, especially when I do the close-ups of them, but it's kind of like that nude lipstick, like you have 10 nude lipsticks or light nudie pink lipsticks and you're like, no, but they're all different. There's not one that's exactly the same because they all look different on you and they're all for like different looks, right? So this is basically how I feel about these three blending brushes. They all might look the same, but they all have different purposes. So let's start off with this little guy right here. The, um, this is by Crown Brushes and this is their Stiff Tapered Crease Brush. More of a smaller lid space or feel like when you put on your darker color in the outer crease, if it just like gets everywhere and it just like gets super far up, like almost to your brow bone or something, this is perfect. Or even if you like your crease to be just like really nice and tight and defined and stay in your crease, this brush is perfect because it literally fits right into the crevice of your crease. I've used this on so many different people, on clients, and this is just a go-to brush because what I like to do is I will lay down, let's say this dark brown color, I will clean it off and then I'll go back in and blend it out and it's just perfect. And now if you're just looking for like a good blending brush that you just want to, if you're done with your eyeshadow, like uh, buff out the edges of your shadow. This brush is amazing. This is the um, Crown Brushes Pro Blending Crease Brush. It's amazing at blending out your creased um, shadows or blending out like just the edges right on top. It's amazing for that as well. Just perfect for that. Okay, my last eye brush, this one is by Morphe. This is the Morphe M412 brush. I love this brush because it's a little bit pointed right here. It tapers off right at the tip of the brush. And I like this because this allows me to build up color slowly. So if you're not sure that you wanna do like a super dark brown or super dark black or whatever color you're doing in the crease, you just pick up a little bit of the color right here on the tip really lightly, tap off the excess, and then you can start blending it in slowly. Because you're only grabbing product with literally the tip of the brush, you don't have product everywhere. So you can keep blending and blending and blending, and it will eventually blend out to like a really nice um, 
crease shade. This is actually what I used in my eye look today to kind of get this lighter brown crease. But then if you want to deepen it up, let's say just in this outer corner, pick up some of the color right here on the tip and it's perfect at blending that area out. Alrighty guys, so those were all of my favorite eye brushes. I find these to be essentials, necessities in my collection. Like if I don't, if I never had any of those, um, Eyeshadow brushes right there. I would be totally fine with these Eye brushes. These brushes are all necessities to me So I really hope this video was helpful for you guys and that you guys enjoyed watching if you guys would like to see Like my favorite face brushes like for contouring highlighting foundation um, And definitely let me know in the comments down below or give this video a big thumbs up So that way I know whether you guys want to see it or not Don't forget to subscribe so that you guys don't miss out on any of my future videos And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next one